American women win $24 million against U.S. soccer. Women's soccer players in the United States have achieved a breakthrough agreement with the sport's American governing body, ending a six-year court struggle for equal compensation. The USSF and the women's team announced a $22 million settlement on Tuesday, almost one-third of what they wanted in damages. The USSF has committed to set aside $2 million for post-soccer careers and philanthropic activities to expand the sport for women. The USSF said it would pay the women's and men's national teams the same amount of money, including bonuses for the World Cup, if the unions representing the women and men could come to an agreement. The players earned a triumph when supporters chanted, equal pay, as they won their second consecutive tournament in France in 2019. USSF President Cindy Parlo Cohn's first year in charge was a resounding success as well. Cohn succeeded Carlos Cordero, who resigned after a court lawsuit by the Federation alleging that women lacked physical capacity and responsibilities compared to their male colleagues. Since the program's inception in 1985, the United States has won four World Cups, whereas the men haven't advanced beyond the quarterfinals since 1930. In April 2016, five American athletes, headed by Alex Morgan and Rapino, filed a lawsuit with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Three years later, women sued for Equal Pay Act and Civil Rights Act damages. The parties agreed on working conditions in December 2020, including charter flights, lodging, and playing surfaces. To restore the equal pay provision struck down by a federal district court, they were due to appear before the Ninth Circuit on March 7. The settlement agreed today is a major step in righting numerous past wrongs, the women's team union stated. While a new labor contract must be agreed and confirmed by March 31st, the settlement was a huge milestone. Players were able to ignore legal issues to continue winning. The $22 million will be shared among the players, pending district court approval. Cohn said the organization hasn't decided how to distribute World Cup incentives. For the 2018 men's tournament, FIFA set aside $400 million, including $38 million for the win of France, and $30 million for the 2019 women's tournament, including $4 million for the champion USA. The American men's CBA ended in December 2018. Sunil Gulati, who led the USSF from 2006 to 2018, was also criticized by Rapinoe.